hello everyone um so it is saturday which is three days i think before i leave for korea um so basically i graduated last weekend and um now i'm going to korea i'm gonna go there with my family including dumbledore for like three months and dumbledore's been on a diet because um, Korean Air's policy is that the cage and the dog have to be 15 pounds or less. Three months ago, Dumble was 15 pounds but just by himself. So we've been putting him on a very strict diet, feeding him only cucumbers and broccoli, having his portion size, making him work out. But Dumble, come here! Yes, jump! Burn those calories! Dumble, jump! Okay, good boy. And that's his workout for the day. Oh! <laughs> No. Look here. Are you excited? Are you excited to go to Korea? Yes. Good morning, everyone. It is the day of. Um, I'm leaving to go to Korea today, giving Dumble his final walk until he's also boarded with the plane with us and he can't pee pee or poo poo for like 14 hours. And he is now under the weight requirement which is really good so hopefully he'll be able to sit with us but now i gotta pick up his poop because he just pooped okay bye South Korea. Um, I arrived last night and surprisingly the plane ride was pretty smooth. Dumbledore was actually so good. He held in his pee for 20 hours and I was really nervous like where he was gonna pee and poop on the plane but he like held it in and I now look at him very differently. So much respect and reverence for him. I have to get my PCR test today and then once I get the results, um, hopefully negative, I can start going out and about. But I am in Korea for like three months, so I'm not in much of a rush to go out and do things and eat things. So I think I'm just going to take it pretty slow. I'll just be updating you guys, hopefully vlogging a lot on places I go, places I eat, or things I eat, and stuff like that. Hi, so I'm at Lotte Pekwajam. It opened pretty recently and um, it's near my house. It was like a 15 minute bus ride. And yeah, so far it looks nice. I'm just gonna be shopping around.
I'm inside the mall. It's so big. I don't even know where to begin. I feel like it's just way too bougie for me. <laughs> but it's super nice. There's Claire de Pau, there's Chante, Calais, Kenzo, La Beige, Club Monaco, Sandro. There was YSL, Burberry. I just want like a little Thinka Thinka iPhone cover, a little Thinka Thinka tote bag. Um, so I just went around some laps around the mall. I'm a little tired. I didn't get anything. <laughs> Guys, so my mission on this trip is to declare bankruptcy by the end of the trip because I feel like every time I come to Korea, I don't know why, but I just get so cheap and stingy. I'm like, eh, it's cheaper in the US. Eh, 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 eh. So I never end up buying anything. So I had a clear goal to just, you know, let it rain. But I feel like the department stores in Korea are just so expensive and I feel like I could just find find some things like cheaper at home day or things like that. So I just don't feel like buying anything here. Not humid, kind of breezy, and I know it's gonna be pretty rare when summer really hits Korea because uh, Korea gets super hot and humid. So I'm just soaking it all in. Ooh. Um, and uh, I really need to dom. And I wanted to kind of like wander around, go into little stores while on the way home. But as soon as I walked into Olive Young, I got the signal, dude. So hopefully I can make it home without making a mess. Uh, I don't think I have too much left, but wish me luck, guys. Oh my gosh, this dude scared me. I thought it was real. Hi, guys. I made it back home, and I want to show you guys what I got at the department store today. I got slime, and it's not just any slime. It is a, a dragon fruit cream aid slime. And I spent so long at the store trying to decide which slime I wanted. There were so many cute options. There was like a koguma, like a sweet potato one. There was like a green tea kind of one. But 
I did this one because I was thinking about which one would look best like when they're all mixed in together and so I chose this because you gotta think about that kind of stuff so let me do a little thingy I wonder if it smells like dragon fruit okay so and this is like a clear jelly and you can see like the little uh, seeds or whatever attention to details and this is like the sorbet it's like a little ice cream thing it looks really fluffy and soft and then this here is like dragon fruit syrup and there's also these little little decoration things with like le pieces of lemon and leaves and like some beets <laughs> i'm excited oh my gosh Mmm, it actually does smell like dragon fruit. Well, I don't really know what dragon fruit smells like, but it smells fruity. And this is the... Oh! Oh my gosh, is it here, I think? Ooh. Oh, wow. Can I see this? Wow. Ooh. And then... Little flakes. I'm scared they're just gonna fall all over the place. Oh, it did. Oi! I chose this one, but maybe I'll get more. 